<laughs> hey everybody it's been a calamity of errors and today one thing i'm gonna try to do is there's drains right here in the cockpit that have been just draining down in the bilge because we had cut them off you know good stuff we cut them off or they were already cut no i cut i cut them out uh. But what I, I'm having a hard time getting all of the old hose off. So what I have to do is take a grinder and cut them and peel the hose off. And I can put this Y back in and plummet the, out, out the hull of the boat. So it'll drain outside the boat instead of in the bilge. So that'll reduce a lot of the water. It's ugly in there. <laughs> Charge. <laughs> Dork. So I'm gonna to try to take my grinder, once I get some safety glasses on, and cut these and peel them off. You want me to film you? Sure. Mama needs her coffee. Ugh. Hi. All right, safety first. I'm gonna to try to take my grinder basically come up through here and cut right here here and here without launching my wheel my cutting wheel off but there's metal in here so once that's off I might I can probably peel all of this old uh, pipe off okay wait before you do that look at these beautiful cushions that I made by hand wait that's not that one that one I had help with. This one I did by hand, see? You could see all the hand stitching. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Back to the show. Cut it out. Ha ha ha! Are you sure you want that so close to you? Yep. God, I love the smell of burning rubber. You should probably put a mask on too. No. No? But it's... That's how easy it was. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut these other two now. I needed. Whew. You have a smoking personality. <laughs> Smoke. <laughs> I bet you are. I think I'm going to wander into the engine room, turn some lights on so you can see, as well as you guys out there, see what I can do. Oh wait, there's no hole there anymore. You put a panel in. Oh. Okay, this goes on. I can see you. This goes on. Can you see me? No. There oh, you are. There you are. <laughs> You're hiding. <laughs> it was a hole. Okay. So what I want to do is take this and put right here. So this can come into here like this. Then I was hoping to take one of these that's longer. Like this down to the seacock. So it'll all drain out. That's my plan. Are you going to have to cut it? Yeah. 
properly. Can I ask a question, Batman? Yes, ma'am. What's that whole, this? yes, that thing there for? This used to come over to here and come straight down and out this hole. Okay, so can you this put one, this one here this through one the hole? came down to here and out that hole. Oh. There's no need to put both of these through all those holes. So... That's why I'm combining and dropping down into one. Only one hole needed. One hole needed. So I'm gonna to try to take this. When I take this off, I'm gonna mount it right here, like that. So this will come over here, like that, and then I'll turn this and clamp it here. And then I'll run it down, so. You're so smart. Now. I need to go get my grinder again. and I can start tightening some of this and putting it where it needs to be. What I'm going to do is take this hose off. Hang on, I'm trying to see if it's recording. It is. It is? Because it does the beep. Oh, okay. Why didn't we replace the hoses? Um, since we're replaced, technically replacing everything else on the boat. Because these are drain lines, there's no pressure in them. They are actually um, exhaust hoses, um, so they'll re, they'll tolerate the heat because the engine is going to be literally right here, putting off a lot of heat. Yeah, that's why I did this. Yes, I cheaped out by reusing them, but there's no reason not to use them. Because there's no pressure, there's no heat, and there's no nothing inside them, so that's why. Oop, there's no stuff there. So now, I'm gonna take this hose clamp up here. And plus, this hose is something like... Oops. It fall down. Oh. At least it's not in the water. And plus this stuff's like six to ten dollars a foot. So am I trying to save money? A little bit. Okay, so this valve should open up beautifully, and this will connect right there. Or somehow in here. Figure that one out in a minute. Oh, yeah. So now, come up here, and 
Undo this clamp. That's not going anywhere. Let's see, here's. We're just taking parts from other places. <laughs> Absolutely. See, there's a hole, I'll use it. Kind of like when we moved into our house, any hole you found, you stuck a picture on the wall and exactly. that's where it went. Now I need to find another screw. Oh, we got lots of screws. You want me to go get one? Sure, because I don't see one in here. I think I cleaned them all out. Okay. So we'll take this. Which this might have to get redone because right here, this hole is for our shower. Wait. Oh, I guess. Hi. <laughs> Hi. You would be correct. That would be our shower. And right here's. another hole. So <laughs> we might have to redo that, but we'll see what happens. So now what I need, see if we have it, is something like this. Because this will screw down inside that seacock and I can put the pipe on it. I don't know if I have one of these. Uh, excuse me, but did you just not say that was in your hand? It is. So, and I'll go show you what I'm talking about. So, number one, that won't work. Why not? Because it needs to be on the outside, not the inside. Oh, so it's too small, too and big. Number two, it won't fit. This is a two inch go in this one. Oh. Like that. Off to the store to get a smaller one then. I'll order it. So we'll stick that there. Now is that where that's going to permanently stay at? No. Oh. Actually what I might do. Nope, that won't work. Because you cut it. So that should at least keep the water from draining down into here. Isn't that what that's for though? It is, but the more water you can keep out of here, the better. This goes to my bilge pump that's temporarily set up down inside the bilge temporarily. So we'll see. 99% there. So where is it going afterwards? If you're saying this is temporary and it's not staying on well, there, this, yes. This, we might have to route it over a little more. Come here and then come down. But it's staying in that hole. Yes. Okay, that's what I'm trying to ask. Because you said it was temporary, but where or, would it go? Or, because this is so low, we can use this as a pickup. And we want to be up as close to the water line which is about right here, as we can. So that one all the way over there? That might be the culprit that we send it to. Because that's going to be our water line. Oh. Our water line should be right in here somewhere. 
So you want all your fluid moving out the boat as close to the as close to the water line as you can get underneath or above. Preferably above. That's what we're gonna do for now. Mission accomplished. So where did all that line come out of? This? Yeah. It's this. I just ran it down through. Oh. This is what we spliced in, ran all the way to the front. Oh. So I'll connect these together and uh, then we'll be, I gotta run one more line down and into here to get power up to my panel up there. Ouch. Well already then. That would be... Oh, I don't know. See, I started doing this already. Looks good. Nothing I can use. Well, then it wasn't very useful, was it? It was. We just have a lot more screws to go through. So, if you're looking for something to do, you can come sort this and we've got a whole other bin of screws to sort. That's what happens when you go to a salvage place and you look at their bucket of screws and you just buy a bucket of it. Well, considering that all the screws I bought have been about $40, and this is probably a hundred right here. So, yeah. I had uh, one of our followers ask me if I was ever adverse or, or adverse of using used or getting used. No, not at all. Well, Nancy, when you found me, I was well used and abused, so. You, you, you do used as well, right? True story. So I need to go get that other bucket? No. What I'm going to do... Find a battery for one of your many Ryobis. Actually, I don't need that right now. Yeah. yeah.
Oh yeah, I can't get all that in there. Andy's doing boat yoga. I just put a single screw up there for my NMEA splitter. So... And what's all going in there? That is... I'm going to pull this wire, which comes down over there. i got to fish it under the floor and fish it up here. We connect into that, which will power our transducer, uh. which will tell us what the depth is. And that's kind of an important thing. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. There's a lot more to come. Can't wait till next week. It's going to be some more exciting content. As you see, the dogs are swimming nicely. Patio? Yeah. We're, we're, we're pretending we're, we're, you know, work with us here. <laughs> but if you like this, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, like. Uh, head on over to Patreon as well and look up uh, SV Free Spirit. There's a lot of benefits out there that uh, will help you connect with us. Also, we have some very exciting news coming up in the very near future. So watch in the next video or two and some of that might be coming out as well. Also, you can head on over to our website at sv-freespirit.com. You can buy lots of this merchandise, shirts, bags, hats, cups, you name it, it's there. Proceeds do help support the channel as well as the project. Speaking of supporting the project, what about our favorite shopping list? Oh, Amazon! They love to drop stuff off at our house. So, underneath our giving page, uh, you can click on our Amazon wish list and purchase something directly for the boat. Not this one, the bigger one. No, there's stuff on there for Dingleberry. True story. Okay, for both boats. For anything. You can head on over there and purchase something. Also, if you would like to help promote the channel. We are a 501c3 not-for-profit, so we will be able to accept tax donations, and all donations are tax deductible off your IRS income taxes. Yep. Good stuff. Good stuff. So make sure to hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and continue to join us on the adventure. You need to start rowing. Do you know why? Because we got another video coming out next week. Oh. Bye, guys.